it grabbed the dude who shot that water tower in Johnny Cash's hometown. Oh, they caught him. Yeah, they, they figured out. He shot the hole in the water tower. There's a Johnny Cash mural on the water tower in his childhood home. And it made it look like he was peeing. <laughs> the very well placed shot. The thirty eight year old dude's been charged with two felonies. Oh wow. Well, you figure it's a public works issue. Mm-hmm. Right? You're, you're, hit, you're hitting like government city infrastructure or whatever. And it Vandalism? had the, the Johnny. Yeah, I guess. And so I thought it was really funny because it's very childish, but it made it look like he was peeing. But two felonies, boy. Recently, a humorous vandal with a wicked sense of humor decided to make Johnny a little bit more PG 13 and. Nope, that's not rain. Somebody shot our water tower, shot the silhouette of Johnny Cash in a very sensitive area. It was a long shot. Standing proud, holding a guitar, and emptying this 50,000-gallon water tank all over Kingsland. It's been leaking for the last almost week. But although the stream prompts a giggle, the leak is aiming to rain on the town's parade. This water tower is losing close to 30,000 gallons every single day. Whoever shot it out has should have to pay for it. So as Johnny flows on, those here in Kingsland are hoping to put an end to the hurt. Mm-hmm. I get it, because he did a song, he covered that Nine Inch Nails song. Mm. Hurt. Uh, yeah, so it's, uh, another guy looks the way you think he'd look. His name is Timothy Sled, and uh, he hit, uh, was hit with two felony charges. Criminal mischief. I love that mischief is in um, a criminal offense. Criminal mischief. Makes you think of something just kind of, um, well, I also like the idea non-committal. That, yeah, there's mischief, and then there's criminal mischief. Mm-hmm. You know, I've been guilty of mischief. Was it a crime? No. 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 Civil mischief. Being mischievous. And the other um, the other felony for impairing the operation of a vital public utility. Namely, Johnny Cash's crotch. They were uh, led to him after an investigation that included local surveillance. So somebody must have dropped a dime on this dude. They said there's still a possibility that a second person will be arrested. A second shooter. The, <laughs> yeah. A second shooter. So they shot the Johnny Cash mural right in the crotch there on the water tower. But again, I had to claim ignorance on the water tower thing, uh, but that's what provides the water pressure for the people in this town, which means... If you're losing that much water out of the tower, you got a whole town of people, and not a huge town, but you got a town of a few thousand people. They're having a hard time flushing their toilets, I would have to imagine. Cost them five thousand dollars to fix this. Bill, you mentioned Flex Seal. Yeah. It's, you certainly think that, you know, I'm sure they wanted a, a more official fix. And but they, they could have easily gone up there with Flex Seal. They can't flush their toilets. You know what that leads to? Fecal assault. <laughs> Fecal assault, that's right. And it all comes full circle. So uh, congratulations to the uh, law enforcement individuals there in Kingsland, Arkansas. We don't have a bureau chief there. It's a small town. Uh, About four hours away from where Bill was in the NWA. Sex and love are luxuries. Somebody texts, you don't need either. Many people live their entire lives without them. No one said you needed them. And you can live without them, but why would you want to live without them? Yeah, what's the point? Big fan of both of those things. Sex and love? Which Mm -hmm. would you rather have? Like if I could only have one of them and not the other for the rest of my life, Mm -hmm. I'd rather have love. Really? Mm Mm-hmm. Because you can do the sex thing by yourself? Or because, I mean, sex is so common and it'll get boring at some point. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well. No. No. I feel, like, like, loveless I, sex, you can do that for a long time, but it eventually gets no, old. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. That's no. why people settle down and get married. Tired of having just sex with strangers. No, I think they're more tired of everyone else judging them for having no. sex with strangers. I don't think se- sex with new people ever gets boring. I'm with Pound Cake. There is a stigma on people who are like, I'm with you. <laughs> hey! <laughs> this, is not unpre- this is not unprecedented. I, I've been on his side on a number of occasions. 
because there is a stigma again. What do you? What did you just say? I had a hoe phase. I had two the, hoe phases. Right, but the fact you called a hoe phase and people know what you're talking about. Yeah. Right. Um. But there's a stigma on it. Okay, but do as... Do not defy me, whore! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> political, political joke calls me the foot whore, too. Oh, I'm a foot whore! Yeah, you missed political joke calling it about seven or eight times. Alan! He was all drunk, <laughs> yeah. And where did he, uh... He called I'll you... i a foot whore, that's fine. He called you a foot whore, yeah. Thank you, Alan. This is for the foot whore. I bet you her dead daddy would be a real proud of her, like, oh, foot pictures on the internet and all this... Hey, I'd I'd pay a hundred dollars for a foot fish if she could put her one. I'd pay a thousand bucks for that picture. Hey, I'm going in, you hold. <laughs> That's not a very clear, <laughs> not a very clear yeah, request. Yeah, 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 yeah. The foot whore. Okay, here's what he doesn't know about my dad. My dad was a gambling addict, so to him, money. any extra money I've so that's got, free money. <laughs> and it's, you better do it, whore. It's your feet. <laughs> do not <laughs> defy yeah. me, whore. My dad would have loved it if I if I was like, Dad, I got an extra X amount of money. You go, oh my God, you're making money off your feet. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Roulette. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but they'd be like, minute. but dad, I also banned myself from the casino. That's like, what, ah, that you. would be mm. more upsetting to my dead father. The yeah. fact that I put myself on a self-exclusion list, He's that like, he would be disappointed. Do not defy me, whore! <laughs> How dare you? Yes. <laughs> do not defy me, whore! But no, saying that I've had hoe phases is why I think, because even in, and I guess I was drinking heavy too, but in those phases, you get, I would get sad. Like I'd hook up with a guy and then they'd leave or I'd leave and then you'd be alone. And you're like, I mean, yeah. Until the next exactly. guy. Exactly. And, yes, and I was sober doing it. Temporary. That's what, that's what I've, you know, tried to tell, you know, my, you know, my son's 21 years old and he's had a couple of girlfriends and, you know, he's kind of cut from the same cloth that I am or he likes wounded birds. Mm-hmm. You know, when I was younger, I was that a guy. fixer upper. Yeah, I was that guy too, but it invariably doesn't lead anywhere good. Uh, Because you'll fix them up a little bit, and then they'll dump you for somebody that they really dig. Mm. Um, Because somebody they want to fix, right? Yeah. But I said, look, there's always a next person. Always a next person. Um, But you okay, so you've never hooked up with a couple people in a row, a good month or something like that, and then felt sad when uh-uh. they're gone? Where you're no. just sitting there like, cool, sex was fun. Okay, but it's different for guys and well, girls, no, no, too. No, no, we're no. Not... Are you talking about somebody that you're starting to like develop like a relationship no. with or feelings with? in general. I've never had sex with a person that I didn't have a relationship with and then felt sad about it. I not felt sad that they Unless left. I felt like I wasted my time. No, no, no. Not sad about the act itself. Sad like, this is meaningless. Like, okay, cool, yeah, I had sex. And also, women aren't getting off nearly as much as men are. Well, that's a whole other thing. So that's why... I was reading a thing this morning that said that hugs are great for women to relieve stress. Yeah. Guys don't care. Yeah. They're like, whatever chemical reaction women get from hugs to de-stress them does not work the same for guys. Yeah. So whatever, right? (laughs) I'd rather motorboat. (laughs) (laughs) That's how you de-stress, huh? No, I think if you get to the this is meaningless part... Then it you're, will eventually get there. You're mo- but if your brain is, that means you're looking for meaning. Yes. Some people are totally fine with meaningless. This is a hard one for me. I, you attach meaning to whatever you attach meaning to. But I, All I'm saying is a new person is always exciting. It's exciting uh, until it isn't. So like then, at you the get beginning, a, then you get another person. At the beginning of the phases when you're going through and you're meeting people and you're drinking, you're having fun and you're hooking up, that's fun. But it does eventually get to a point where you're like, what is, what is all this? Why am I doing this? Like you, it becomes meaningless. So maybe I don't have it in me I think to do that forever. I think it has less to do with that and more to do with the fact that people throw all these other variables in. They go, well, I'm getting older and I don't have a person and my job and my thing. That's got nothing to do with having sex with new people. Yes, people love it. But there's no deeper connection there. Who you cares? That's, that's not <laughs> important to a lot of people. And that's what I, I think that's the difference. I would rather have... I've known women for whom that is not important at all. So it's not a male-female thing. No, it, it's been been unimportant to me at different parts of my life as well. But if the question is, if you could never have sex again or never be in love again, I would never have sex again. Being, in, I love being in love, and it's just so like you get to do things for each other and surprise I get each it. other. Oh my and you God, you're so gay. Home. No, you I want to hear something gay? Yesterday, both my boyfriend and I went to the grocery store separate, didn't talk about it, and brought home the exact same two ice creams for each oh other. Oh my God, go away. And he comes home with ice cream. He's like, I got a little surprise. He had flowers. He opens the fridge, and I had the exact same two pints of ice cream. She got 
moister than an oyster. Oh, right God. Now. I've got this huge smile. He's like, what? He was like, you ruined my surprise. One of the surprise. wettest we've ever seen from the standpoint of water. I was like, this is the coolest thing that's ever happened. Look how in love we are. <laughs> this is amazing. We read each other's minds. Listen, like, there's, no, you, there's nothing wrong with it. What kind of ice cream you guys like? But for us to do it on the exact same day without discussing it, that's fate. pretty cool. It must have been fate. It was wild berry crumble it was, fate. It was Mitchell's fate. It was Mitchell's. Yeah, wild berry crumble, boy. Yeah. It's hard to top that. Your Cleveland Guardians have lost a game to the Cincinnati Reds. Those idiots. Four to two is the final. They will play against the Detroit Tigers tomorrow night, seven ten here on WMMS. Mm-hmm. They were swept by the Cincinnati Reds, so they handed Cincinnati their tenth and eleventh wins. All I'm saying is, love is better than sex. And there In the are long run. and there are a lot of people who would agree with you. And some who would disagree. Pound cake is among the people who would disagree. Pound cake's also never really been in love. That is true. That's a, that's what I'm saying. He I'm, only knows the one thing. Right. Yeah. So having sex all the time, I can tell you, does not get boring for me. I, if I can get until it, you fall in love, when you fall in love with somebody and you really feel that true, like and you're saying I can't have sex with them. No, no, no. I'm saying if you, when you feel <laughs> you that, you've never, heaven. you've never <laughs> felt that before. You've never felt like deep, like passionate, like. I would do anything for this person, love. Ugh. No, I don't want to. <laughs> that, he doesn't even do stuff for himself. I was going to say, I don't even love myself that much. Deep. And and he lo- he wants to run into anything. his own arms, but he still doesn't want to have to be but the it, one that gets there. But like he, he doesn't want to drive I'm, there. But, here, but that's how I know what I'm saying I truly believe. Because if I had to love myself or have sex with myself, I would choose have sex with myself all day, every day. That. <laughs> exactly. And I don't love myself, so why am I going to love someone else? Well, that's what you should work on. You should work on loving yourself and see where that takes you. Or not. Slap, slap, <laughs> slapping sound. Or not. Are you with me on this, Bill? I'm I'm kind of divided. It's really tough to say. Bill's a softy. Yeah, I mean, I... <laughs> I do like being in love. He's got a little he marshmallow likes center. Being in love. You but like boy. being at home and sharing a couch and watching a Netflix show. You like that kind but of stuff. But he likes to hook up too. I do like to hook a up sexual too. Sexual threesome. <laughs> it's really hard to say. As soon as he just wants a reason to go home, turn that hat backwards and go to town. Because <laughs> here's the thing, I could <laughs> hat backwards. <laughs> he does. He wants he the can't. logo in the mirror. He loves yeah. it. He, c- he's like, all right. I could do roll up my sleeves. Like what? Like I could have a relationship. With somebody that I'm not in love with, but have them, you know, like I could have my buddy AJ, we could watch shows together and talk about that and like have... I'm glad that's where you were going with that. Like a good time hanging out <laughs> so I'm not lonely. You could be but in love I, with your friends is what you're saying. Yeah, but that's I'm also different. like, you know, I like getting it in. I guess. And it doesn't get old. Yeah, shut up, Mary. Okay, fine. <laughs> Listen, that's fine. I've always been a big. Nobody's wrong in this, by right. the way. No, it's, it's a just, preference thing. Yeah, it's I, what you like. I, I, and listen, I'm very split. Like, I'm, I could love. very easily go the other way, but even like the people that I uh, have been in love with, they'd be like, "No, I'm choosing sex." Yeah, like they would choose sex over love. I think. What if? The, and this is apropos of nothing, but what if you had not gotten each other the two exact same flavors of ice cream? You would, you'd would, you be none the wiser. No, you'd be none the wiser. What do you mean? Well, it just so happens that you each got each other the exact same two pints of ice cream. Yes. If that hadn't happened, you wouldn't be any worse off. No. This but is it's like just a, really cute. It's really cute. It's just super cute, yeah. Right. But I'm just saying that like things like that only go so far. Doesn't make up for like cat puke and things like that. I mean, they're nice little signposts on the you know road of life, but they don't really like make up for it. They but don't. We're not trying to make up for anything. Eh, there's always there's a, there's always a, a power structure in relationships. No, doing something nice for someone you love is not a I'm part not ta- of a power structure. I'm not talking about doing something nice. That I'm was saying, us doing something nice for each other. I'm not talking about buying the ice cream. You were making a big deal about the fact that you ended up with the same two kinds for each other. Right. That was the hook, not the actual purchasing of the confection. Well, both. Oh, well, like I assume me, you're always doing things for yeah, each other. Yeah, like no. you came home with flowers and ice cream, I came home with dinner and ice cream, you know? Have you ever come home with the, you each, oh my God, we bought each other the same vibrator. Has that mm, ever happened? He doesn't have one. Ah, not yet, because you <laughs> haven't bought him yeah, one. You didn't buy him one. That's right. right. Did he I'm buy so, you one? Good no. job, Mary. <laughs> I'm so selfish. How could I not buy my boyfriend a vibrator? Well, you know, you never know what you like. Hey, they make them. Yeah. Well, whatever. <laughs> You come home from a long week on the road, and you hear that coming out of the bathroom. And 
<laughs> oh, honey, hi. I didn't, uh, I didn't hear you come in. Well, I should say not with all that noise. You don't know what you don't know until you know it. That's surprise, right. Surprise your own self with some ice cream. No. I did. Don't leave that. How do you surprise yourself with ice cream? <laughs> you see it, you're like, oh my gosh, you know what? I'm going to get this for myself. And it's it's a <laughs> Ooh, That'll make so me good. love me. You're not surprising yourself, though. You are. Yeah, he's, walking around, he's walking you around with his eyes it. closed up to the, to the giant eagle. <laughs> I'm going to get myself some ice cream. <laughs> I'm not going to tell myself what it is. <laughs> he gets home. Ah, mint chocolate chip. That sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna be Rocky so Road. Goddamn. So happy with myself. Uh-huh. Surprise yourself. <laughs> you never surprise yourself with something. You can't surprise. I mean, maybe a reaction. Oh, I was going to say, I've surprised myself on a number of occasions. Like, oh, I mm-hmm. can't believe that that was my response. Yeah. I didn't think I'd react that way. Mm-hmm. But guess what? I did. But no, never with uh, a, not ice with cream. a physical purchase. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I've you know, that. I never thought I'd buy rum raisin, but there I was. I've gotten drunk and ordered things online before, and then a few weeks later it shows up, and I'm like, whoa! Hey! What a surprise! There you go. That. Yeah. An inflatable treadmill? Mm-hmm. How am I going to use that? That seems very impractical. Impractical, and... I went through a drunk group home phase for a few months, and uh, one of the items that showed up, I went to a Browns game, and then like three days later, there was a box on my doorstep, and I was like, what the hell is this? And it was a children's like giant building kit, so it had like the uh, balls that have the holes in them, and you can stick the sticks into it mm-hmm. and build different shapes and stuff. And I'm like, what in the world would even have possessed me? Like those wooden erector sets, or kind whatever, of. Yeah. Um, but it was like it was like huge. Like you could build structures up to like five feet tall, you know. And so I just gave it to my niece for her birthday. <laughs> I was just like, Aunt May loves you. <laughs> Like, I'm not regifting this or anything. And you couldn't figure like put the pieces together on no why idea. that's what you would order. No clue why why mm. that would have stuck out to me. But after tailgating and going to a Browns game, for whatever reason, I had big plans for building a nice. <laughs> it's one of Mike Polk's best long form classic oh, bits. Yeah. Is yeah. is like drunk ordering Amazon. on Amazon mm-hmm. stuff. Yep. Masks showing up. Oh, so funny. What is this? I don't know what this is. I forgot I, I bought a pair of shoes last night and woke up with like the in my email. I was like, oh yeah, I did buy those vans. Hey. <laughs> it just took a while to get there. That's why you yeah. like, but you you didn't like drunk order something. No, I drunk ordered them last oh, night. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you forgot you ordered I them forgot last I night. I forgot I ordered them last night. And then uh, like I saw the confirmation email this morning. I was like, hey. Good job, Bill. Good job. <laughs> what are the vans? A pair of those. Just a basic pair of like black bands i was like i don't have any b- basic black bands and i should have a pair of that especially for summer hmm. so i got a pair i used to have a pair now i have a pair again <laughs> what a surprise that's so nice mm-hmm. yeah. i like to treat myself yeah treat yourself mm-hmm. all right alan cox show after hours line anytime you want to leave us a message there you can it's uh 216-986-8903 Alan, Caleb and Ken, listen to the podcast from yesterday. Uh, you guys are talking about the Norwegian uh, Independence Day. Uh, my whole family is uh, Norwegian. Our last name starts with four consonants in a row just to solidify ourselves as true Norwegians. Uh, but I'm, I'm thankful that uh, somebody is bringing it up because it's a day that needs to be celebrated. Uh, and I'm calling on behalf of the uh, Citizens United for uh, Norway Traditions. So <laughs> thanks, for the, uh, thanks for the recognition. Love you, bye. Uh, boy, that's really nice. I did mention <laughs> Norwegian Independence Day the other day, and I know we have a, you know, Cleveland was replete with Norwegians a long time ago. I don't think the language is spoken anymore, but... Citizens United for Norwegian Traditions, boy, that's a, they do fine, fine work over there. That is a valuable organization. And um, uh, there's a lot of, I know, card-carrying members throughout Northeast Ohio and beyond. And so um, if you've never uh, given of your time or your resources to that organization, as Caleb says there, it might be good to really kind of give them a nod and a wink from time to time. They do like to see a smile. On your face when, um, hey, I'm going to take a break. I'll have uh, more money for you around 4.30. Another chance for you to grab $1,000 and go fund yourself. After the break, I'll have Tenacious D tickets for you. Kyle Gass, Jack Black, DJ Doug Pound. They're all coming in September to play Blossoms. You're a fan of the D? Hook you up there. 35192 if you want to text, and we'll be back. 